so the lights went green and Thomas Engel lost out a little bit. It was a very, very good start from Tony, for, from Philippe Salacuada in the Ferrari on the left-hand side of the screen. The Porsche got a cracking start as well, slicing through the middle. He unfortunately got a little bit boxed out. Then we had this great battle between the Ford GT and the um, Lamborghini. There was contact just here, which punctures the rear left, spearing the Ford GT into the Lamborghini and spinning it round. And Thomas Engel was thoroughly unimpressed by that. As we then, the battle went on for the lead of this race, the Ferrari of Salaquado, but it was Fred McAvicki and the McLaren just using the grip that the McLaren had, the Ferrari beginning to struggle even early in the stages with loss of front-end bite. So then we had a, a good battle between Stefan Ortelli, who was frustrated trying to get past Enzo Ede in the Ferrari, very frustrated trying to get past Enzo Ede in the Ferrari, and what was the battle over sixth position? It was Ede in sixth, and then before or, um, Ortelli knew anything about it, his teammate Frank Stippler got past, much to Oliver Jarvis's satisfaction. Yeah, and Oliver Jarvis, I think, was actually watching that battle and was so frustrated. Here we see the Dusseldorf getting into the car, slightly slow away, but then totally compromised by the Porsche coming in, and the team was required to then stop Dusseldorf from going into the pit lane to avoid a collision. And so when the BMW came out, it came out comfortably in front of the McLaren. Again, much to the delight of the Vita for One racing team. The president was here, Mr. Ivan Gasparovic, watching all the entertainment here at the Slovakia ring. I don't think he had a go in the bungee jump we've seen here. But then it was Yama Berman watching as his teammate Michael Bartels held out at the front of the field. The McLaren slowly edged closer but ultimately didn't have the pace. It was the win for Vita for one. Yeah, and there was the experience of Michael Bartels who brought that car across the line, three and a half seconds clear of the McLaren. Michael Bartels has done this so long he could do it in his sleep. Exactly, well, and he, he probably will, was. He next will be out at the Portugal circuit of the Algarve, and that will be a fantastic weekend. It's been a fantastic weekend here at the Slovakia Ring for FIA GT1's first visit to this circuit.